Good morning, John. I do not love to talk with the internet about the times when I am discouraged. And I'm not saying that I ignore my frustrations. I totally don't. They're just not for the content. Like, I want my, like, friends and family to help me out with that stuff. But right now, I'm discouraged by something, and I've learned enough about it that it's, I think, worth talking about. I am discouraged by this. Now, this isn't a monolithic thing. There are multiple reasons why people haven't gotten vaccinated yet. But I have seen a lot of vaccine misinformation, and I am discouraged by it. And I wrote in my script about particular kinds of people who are vaccine misinformants. I'm just gonna leave it out. I don't want to talk about that. Let's just say that there are some folks who want to create division and fear to exploit it for their own personal gain. And leave it at that. My first instinct when I see these arguments is to go one by one and pick them apart. Yes, young people do need to get vaccinated to slow down the spread of the disease and have fewer human bodies in which it can mutate. Yes, the vaccine is effective. Counties with lower vaccination rates have higher hospitalization rates. And COVID rates in nursing homes plummeted after that first round of vaccine. And yes, COVID is a real problem. There were 300,000 more deaths in 2020 than there were in 2019. And that's with all of the precautions that people were taking. But do you know what I see being done with that when I do that? Is just more yelling and confusion and just more and more things I've never heard being thrown at me. Another argument that I haven't heard yet. And I do not want to and cannot become a professional vaccine arguer. I'm sorry, but none of it makes much sense in the first place, so it's clear that this isn't based in, like, rational debate. It's based in partisan division and fear. Now, I'm all for increasing the amount of good information out there. I just think that these public-facing arguments never actually do that work. And so sometimes I am tempted, instead of arguing, to mock. But that's even worse. That's just falling into my worst instincts. All it does is make that division deeper and wider, and it makes it awful hard for people to come back over it. If your goal is to to get engagement on social media, that's the way to do it. If your goal is to get more people vaccinated, you are doing the opposite of what you should be doing. And lastly, I have been a little bit tempted to make, like, my vaccination status and my pro-vaccine status, like, a big part of my identity. Just, like, throw it out there and put it in people's faces and be like, look, see? We're excited and enthusiastic about this. Take that! And I look at that and it's kind of getting there, but it's not there. Because as long as it is about winning this war, it will be about perpetuating the war. So all of that seems like it's just making this worse. But I think I found two things that don't. First, just answering good faith questions. When people are confused, when they're conflicted, helping them. It's not about winning, it's about helping. But second, and I think most powerfully and importantly, you know what gets the most support and is most welcoming and creates the least debate? Gratitude. I am so thankful to the many thousands of people who have been working as hard as they ever have in their lives for the past 15 months to get these vaccines ready. I'm grateful to the people who built the testing infrastructure and who did the tests and who administered the vaccines and the people who through all of this have been caring for the sick. And I'm so grateful to now have some immunity from COVID without having had to have experienced the symptoms of COVID or become potentially a carrier who could make someone more vulnerable than myself sick. I am in awe of the dedication and work that has gone into fighting this virus. And there is no counter-argument to that, because that work happened. Those people did that work. And it's also not about a partisan fight, it's just how I feel! Does anybody think that the gratitude I feel toward the tens of thousands of nurses and firefighters who administered COVID shots is about, like, winning a partisan war? No, it's just an emotion I have! And it's an emotion that makes me feel better about the world. And maybe it's an emotion that might make someone think twice about the fear and the anger that they have instead. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.